All right. Here's probably what I find is the best tornado fan find that I found. <laughs> you can believe that. I saw this at a different Goodwill shop today. It was $8, but any tornado that I can get is a good bonus. And it's one that I've never seen before. I mean, at first I thought maybe I could adjust it pivotly, but it's not. It's interestingly, you want to tilt it, you got to use a stand. You can tilt it like that. Like that. Or have it. Hassock model, which is not right because I got the cord in the way, but you get the idea. But yeah. It's a tornado. And it's a model 280B. I think I got that right. Let's look at the information. Upside down. Typical of my film work. get to focus right well you can probably make it out model 280b 120 volts 1.6 amps 60 hertz and that's something that you never see anymore made in the usa so i guess everything was made in the usa back then and somebody commented it's probably a 94 but i have reason to believe it's 96 so i could be wrong i could be wrong so, yeah. I just got done cleaning it up because it was kind of filthy. There was some spooge on it. Not really spooge, just kind of like somebody spilled Kool-Aid, but it felt all spoogy. And I did not try the store, so what you're going to see is we're gonna see if it works or not. So for we're going to plug it up, and we're going to give it a go. And here's what the plug looks like kind of cheap and whatever but it's non-fused but it is polarized so we got that going for us which is nice so we're going to plug it up into the switch box turn it on so here we go Whoa! Don't just blow some big air, yo! Where's my cleaning rag? I need to... Because I want to show you how powerful this is. Supposed to be rated for 1.6 amps, and let's see what it says. Ooh, it's running a tad high. Not good. At 114 watts, so that's. Yeah, not good. Not good. The power just needs to wake up. Who knows? Medium. Decently quiet. Of course, the humming is because it's on a plastic table, so, yeah. And we're currently running 58 watts, 57, at 6,900 for an amp, <laughs> 69, <laughs> Bearing sound a tad dry. Hold that thought for a sec. Okay. You can see the motor is round. 
they still produce some air, which is good. But I think I know one of these, some of these had square motors. And let's look at the information. It's 4300 to an amp at. Thirty-three watts. Let me put it back to high. Yeah, it's still one hundred thirteen watts at one point through six amps. So. I think it's waking up. I think it's waking up. I'm just spend our time now. Probably could stand to oil the motor, but it's not making too much noise other than scraping, scraping, so yeah. I've noticed something. I'm not off camera, I decided to put it with a little bit. And I've noticed something. So I have it on low right now, so you'll hear it a lot better. See? Scrapey, scrapey. Probably because for years it's been sitting upright, but yet if you tilt it down, it's quiet. So. Work in progress, but probably just needs to wake up. Who knows? Alright, it's gonna do it for this video. This lovely 90s model Tornado, model 280B. Because look at it, it's lovely. I wish I'd gotten a picture of it before. I mean, it wasn't too bad, but there was spooge on the side, and it was just, yeah. And it's waking up, but the motor's gonna need a little work, some, some oil and whatnot. It's not too bad, it's running in spec, but no, I am. I'm kind of picky because they don't make these anymore. Or if they do, they're kind of cheap, but yet you pay expensive prices for them. Who knows? But, and also on a side note, this little switch box right here, I'm going to use this more often because that wall switch I had was alright, but this one's a lot more easier to use, so. I'm still going to have to improve it because we're getting a grounded cord, but it's fine as it is. So, it works well with uh, the one-speed fans with no switch and everything else. So, this is going to get some use in the summer and help circulate the air. You know, move the air, man. Move the air. And everything. So, what else? So, I guess till next time, wherever it is. Meski, thank you for watching. And the comments open.